So we really need to, to get into it. Uh, and what better way than introducing young people first, because that's what it's all about. And it's with great pleasure that I'm going to invite the young people to come and introduce themselves and tell you just a little bit about what they've done over the last few days and what they hope is going to happen for them into the future. So I'm going to invite the three schools uh, to come forward. Uh, and before they do, I, I do, and I forgot to do this this morning, they've been supported by um, some very, very um, tired but um, supportive teachers and, and support staff, and I really want to thank them for making sure our children and young people are not only safe but have actually really engaged. And, and uh, their dedication to be with these people 24-7 for three days is, is just terrific. So thank you very much. Could you please welcome our three, three schools? Hi, my name is Hannah Wogamas. I'm a Smith from my mother's side and I'm a proud young Yenawonga, Ngalama, Yindabani and Gautama woman. I decided to take part in this program because I wanted to expand my knowledge on possible solutions to improve the way Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children in my community behave and how they carry themselves within the public eye. This is, this is significant to me because I, f I strongly believe it is important to increase the number of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander leaders in order to create a fair and equal Australia. Thank you. My name is Cody Lemke. I am a year 11 student from Crowther Senior High School. Through this program, the other students and myself have discovered and explored the problems in our respective communities and discussed possible solutions. With your help, we can improve our communities by working together as a, a united team, together as different individuals from different backgrounds, providing different pro pro perspectives to our future young leaders and current leaders. My name is Ryan Blessenden, and I'm from Narrison Senior High School. I hope this, that this program will allow me to create a change in my community, my local community, my state community, my national community. I believe that together we must work together, Indigenous or Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people together to make this change. When we unify, I believe, this is when we're at the best, when we can be the change we want to see. We're all speaking to you today from the, as the nine year 11 and one year 10 student part, as part of the Commissioner's Aboriginal Leadership Cross-Cultural Solutions Program. As we, the Commissioner already mentioned, we've come from Gilwain, Narragin and Karratha Senior High Schools. Before we continue, the other students would like to introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Mayot Slindon. I am a Wongai, Yamaji and Torres Strait Islander. Um, I come from Gurwin Senior High School and I choose to participate in this program because I want to m meet great leaders from other high schools and I also want the opportunity to speak out in trying to help my community get younger children out, out of their homes into schools to get a be better education, make the, most of, make the most out of while they're young. Thank you. Hello, my name's Chella and I'm from Gurian Senior High School. I feel very honoured that I was able to come this week. I chose to participate in this program because I feel like it's important for the youth to know what's happening in their community and other people's community. I thought that this program would be great because we're meeting other people from different backgrounds and we get to know their perspectives as well. We as a youth need to know we as a youth need to expand our knowledge and the issues going on and work to fix it with the help of our leaders. Thank you. Hi, my name is Beth Perriam and I come from Girouane Senior High School. I joined this program to learn how to become a good leader and work with other students to share opinions, issues and solutions and work, work as a team to make them be heard. Hi, I'm Ariel Jill. I go to Carrathal Senior High School and I'm 
a Gidjiga from up north in the Kimberley. Um, I am participating in this program because I would like to improve my community and the pro common problems occurring in our youth. I think it's important to everyone to for everyone to work together and develop the community and support children. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shaquille Takalov and I'm a Wanga Yaru boy from Crawford Senior High School. I am attending this program because I believe in a better future and having more kids engaged in the community events like youth groups and academies. I've witnessed many children and parents not being connected with schools, culture, community events, and I think it's a shame that they don't do anything to help themselves and others. The absence of role models leave out so many young people to not have goals and aspirations for their future. That is why I've joined this program. Thank you. Um, hi, I'm Dirk Duplessis from Narragin Senior High School and I chose to participate in this program because I did not see it as a way to improve myself. I saw it as a way to improve my community and all the communities, all the communities out there and hopefully um, we can make a difference for all those communities. about the program. In 2014, the Commissioner did a large consultation with Aboriginal children and young people across the state to find out their thoughts on the issues that were most important to them and what their hopes were for the future. They said that respect, relationships, learning from elders and being a good role model in the, were important aspects of Aboriginal culture. The Aboriginal Leadership Cross-Culture Solutions Program came out of listening to what these young people had said. The idea is that all young people should have a say in the development of their communities and that supporting Aboriginal leadership should become a standard way of working in WA. We think it is important for everyone to work together to develop the community and support children and young people. The, <laughs> sorry. the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child s says that all children and young people have a right to say in matters that affect them. Our first session in the program helped us to get to know each other, share our concerns about our community, identify the opportunities we have to say in the community and our schools, name some of the solutions to the problems that concern us and identify the role models in the community. We started to learn some interviewing skills, ready to help us in interviewing some of our community role models to better understand their leadership stories and how they got to where they are today. We also had to reflect on our own leadership stories. We have come together from across the state to do some interesting activities in Perth this week. On Wednesday, we got to meet some employees from at Rio Tinto and see how companies like Rio Tinto play a role in communities. We also met with people from the Your Guard Genabiti Women's Leadership Program at the WA Aboriginal Leadership Institute and heard stories from other young leaders like us. We also got to do a tour of Parliament House and meet the Governor to understand what roles politicians play in solving community issues. That night we also watched a play called Skylap by Black Swan in Yarra Yarkin Theatre Company. Yesterday we all attended the Vulnerability Speaker Series, Aboriginal Led Solutions, Closed Form. And one of the things that I realised through that was the importance of cultural integration through the school and community. Thank you. After this week, all of us are going to go back to our own communities, Narragin, Karatha, Gilwain. We want to make some change. We don't want to just be go up to Perth for a week, talk about all this stuff and have no, nothing happen. We want to see something happen to our communities. So we're going to talk to decision makers, role models within our communities and see what we can do to make this change. Some of the concerns we all have are the impact the drugs and alcohol are having on all of us, especially young people. The abuse that is present in many households and how this affects our youth. The parents 
that for whatever reasons do not take responsibility for the, their actions and do not support their own children. Peer pressure, bullying, all these things that happen in schools that just put extra pressure on all of us. The pressure from school itself. We need it. What about assignments, ATAR, schoolwork, just that. Put so much pressure on us and causes all this anxiety and nerves that's not needed. We don't need it. Then the low school attendance, those who don't find school interesting, who just miss out, go down push, do something else. And how hard is it for them to get the grades up? And also, these strong, positive role models that we need in our communities, inspiring us. The Aboriginal youth, the loss of the learning traditional cultural protocols. And one of the most important ones, in my opinion, is being able to finish school and finding a meaningful job after. No one wants to be stuck in a dead-end job. They want to get through school and do their absolute best they can. Now we've talked about all the bad stuff, so now we're going to go into the opportunities. So some of the things we think are ways to go forward. We think we need, as young people, to socialise more and engage within our communities. We need to be places where we feel welcome and safe. We also need to receive support when we need it, and even when we don't know we need it. And have those good support networks and people we can trust with issues that maybe you don't want to go to your parents about it. Maybe you've got someone else you can go to. Talk about that. We all need those people in our lives. We also need to be able to access and afford relevant education. Another thing, about, uh, having community events that cater for everyone, all of us. We're all very, very different people. One thing definitely does not fit all. Another opportunity is having more cross-cultural activities such as this one to build, bring us all together and interact. And we need to play a role in building safe communities which are inclusive for everyone and where Aboriginal culture is celebrated and delivered to everyone in the mainstream, in schools, learn about the culture, be a part of it. One of the main things about this is role models. We all think role models are incredibly important. Role models, though the visualisation of what we can aim for, that high expectation, this is the best, aim for it, beat it, do better, all that things. Without role models, where's that inspiration? We need to be able to identify the role models in our communities. They're there, we need to just need to, be able to identify, know them, say, that is a great person. We need to be more like him or her. There should be more showcasing of these role models within this community so us, as young people, know who they are and who to look, look up to, who to try and aim to become, not mimic, but say, they did a great job there, I can see if I can do better. Build upon it, get better and better and better. Role modelling plays a significant role in the Aboriginal culture as a way for cultural knowledge to be passed on from one generation to the next. Young people should have more opportunities to learn from their elders who have all different types of experience. Why not use the experience of these elders? Build upon it. Make the knowledge and information so great. Today, many children and young people live in extended family households with all these different role models. And they themselves can be role models to other siblings, uh, nephews, cousins, nieces, everyone. In addition to what Cody also said about the forum yesterday, I learned that not only do our voices need to be heard like we're doing today, we need to act upon it. It's no point if we all meet up here and keep on talking about what's happening. We need to decide, hang on, we've talked, we know there's a few things we can work on, a heap of things we can work on, how about we actually get it done? And another thing, I'd also like to thank Krista and all the Commissioner's staff for this amazing experience, as well as the supervisors and the amazing job all these other guys here have done. I'm pretty shaky, we're all pretty shaky. <laughs> so, I think it's a pretty great job. You're not, you're a great crowd, but you're hell intimidating. <laughs> thank you.